Recently, a Tennessee school district banned a Holocaust novel called Mouse over concerns about its violence, nudity, and profanity. It's a comic book about the Holocaust, where the Jews are portrayed as mice and the Germans as cats. It's meant for a young adult audience, as the serious subject matter combined with the cutesy style would suggest. The school board's objections were that the comic showed characters being hung, children being slaughtered, you know, and children shouldn't be subjected to that type of imagery, even if it's still cats and mice. And fair enough. Maybe not small children, but like I said, it's probably appropriate for the teen years. At the end of the day, to teach about the Holocaust, you must show the reality of the Holocaust, and that reality is brutal. Of course, because the Streisand effect is a thing, Mose's sales shot up as a result of that negative publicity. When I was a kid, I'm talking around 12 years old specifically in my case, when I learned that a book was on my school's banned list, and there were a few, I generally went to the library to read it, as I was an avid reader growing up. And nowadays, with Amazon or other online shops, people can buy these books relatively easily. So I've always found that schools banning books is just a big waste of time. But the real story here is how the mouse event was covered on The View. Now, I don't know a single person who actually watches The View, and I haven't seen an episode of it since I lived at my parents' place because, as far as I recall, my mom loved that shit. And you know what? I kind of forgot it existed. Until Whoopi Goldberg got in trouble for this comment. Well, also, if you're yeah. going to do this, then let's be truthful about it, because the Holocaust isn't about race. What? No, it's well, not about maybe race. Maybe ethnicity. It, yeah, no, it's Jews about a different it, race. But it's it's not about race. It's not about well, what race. What is it about? Because you, it's about man's inhumanity to man. Okay. <laughs> Okay, she's technically correct. The Holocaust was about man's inhumanity to man, but it's also about race. You, you see this book here? I fucking read it. There's a lot in here about race. I don't know what you're fucking talking about, dude. That's what it's about. But it's about white supremacy. It's well, about but it's, not, Jews, it's not about you know, and, and race. It's 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 then, but these are two Romans. white groups of people. And there's the rub. This is a very American viewpoint on race that Whoopi Goldberg is presenting here. She considers Jews to be white, and so to her, the Holocaust is simply white on white crime. But that's not how the people involved in the Holocaust saw it. Hitler, you know, in that book, he doesn't actually talk about the white race. He talks about the Germanic race, the Aryan race, the Nordic race, and their relationships with the Slavic race, or the Mediterranean race, or the Jewish race. All groups of people that we over here in North America generally lump together as white, but to Nazi racial ideology, they were not considered part of the same stock. Well, that how do we have to black people see too. them as white? And they but you're missing the point. You're yeah. missing the point. The yeah. minute you turn it into race, it goes down this alley. Let's talk about it for what it is. It's how people treat each other. It's a problem. It doesn't matter if you're black or white, because black, white, Jews, uh, it's ha everybody eats each other. To Whoopi's credit, she's actually correct here. Every group of people on Earth is both an oppressor and the oppressed. That's just how it is. So is it, if you're uncomfortable, if you hear about mouse, should you be worried? Should, should your child say, oh my God, I, I, I wonder if that's me? No, that's not what they're going to say. They're going to say, I don't want to be like that. <laughs> the music coming in to try and play it off. Not happening this time, Sam. Well, hopefully. That's well, want to be cruel. Yeah. And in well, yeah. Most kids, okay. most oh. kids they, they don't want to be cruel. No, they don't. And, and we're, living in a, you know, we're living in an era where people are, are comparing vaccine cards to the yellow stars, where people are comparing mm -hmm. vaccinations to what Anne Frank yeah. went through. Yeah. So it is necessary for kids to learn about yeah, the yeah, Holocaust. Yeah, it's not at that level. Let's hope it never gets there, lady. Thankfully, it's turning around in most places, but there's still that one school making kids wear yellow stars if they've got a medical exemption for masks. Jesus. And to learn way, about man's what? inhumanity to man, however it exposes itself. I have to cut you off. I just want to say that now was banned and it flew to the top 20 of Amazon's rules last week. Yeah. Charts. Yes. People, the more you ban we'll it, the right more back. we want to read it. As and there you have it. What a shit show, eh? The problem here isn't that Whoopi Goldberg is hateful or anything. Though, I mean, maybe. It's that she's operating with a very specific, very narrow lens on race that leads to her saying such a dumb shit as the Holocaust wasn't about race. Because the American experience on race is extremely black and white. Literally, in fact. From the Nazi perspective, it was Semites versus Aryans. They felt no kinship with them based on skin color. Of course, Whippy Goldberg went on to apologize on Twitter. Is, uh, is that a new avatar? I will say, it, uh, it fits the situation. 
On today's show, I said the Holocaust is not about race, but about man's inhumanity to man. I should have said it is about both. As Jonathan Greenblatt from the Anti-Defamation League shared, the Holocaust was about the Nazi systematic annihilation of Jewish people, who they deemed to be an inferior race. I stand corrected. The Jewish people around the world have always had my support, and that will never waver. I am sorry for the hurt I've caused. What quickly followed was a series of funny and weird events, starting with the president of ABC suspending Whoopi Goldberg from The View for two weeks, stating, while Whoopi has apologized, I've asked her to take time to reflect and learn about the impact of her comments. The entire ABC News organization stands in solidarity with our Jewish colleagues, friends, family, and communities. Whoopi responded by wearing a jacket that had innocent printed on it, even though she had already apologized. All right. People also began to take note of the obvious hypocrisy. In March of 2021, Sharon Osbourne was invited to leave her position on CBS's The Talk over accusations of racism for defending Piers Morgan's criticisms of Meghan Markle. In 2018, Roseanne Barr had her show canceled off of ABC after sending this uh, pretty spicy tweet about Valerie Jarrett, one of Obama's advisors. If the Muslim Brotherhood and Planet of the Apes had a baby, Jesus. I'm sure her supporting Trump didn't help either. And of course, Gia Serrano was let go from her star role on Lucasfilm's The Mandalorian for stating that being a Republican today is like being Jewish during the Holocaust. Me personally, I don't want to see any of these people fired. I like free speech, but considering that CBS, ABC, and Lucasfilm are all owned by Disney, it's not like there's a difference where the buck stops. Osborne, Barr, and Serrano all said some pretty bad stuff, but none of it is as bad as Holocaust revisionism. And yet, unlike those three, Whoopi Goldberg only got a slap on the wrist. Maybe it's because she's black, and her blackness affords her an extra level of protection in a CRT intersectional world. Maybe it's because she's characterized the Holocaust as being whites against whites. And so from a black perspective, what does she care? That's also valid from the CRT point of view. In fact, she said exactly that when talking to Stephen Colbert. Like well, asking the Nazis, they would say, yes, it's a racial issue. Well, see, this is what's interesting to me, because the Nazis lied. It wasn't. They, they had issues with ethnicity, not with race, because most of the Nazis were white people, and most of the people they were attacking were white people. So to me, I'm thinking, how can you... How can you say it's about race if you are fighting each other? So it all really began because I said, how will children, how will we explain to children what happened in Nazi Germany? This wasn't, I said, this wasn't racial. This was about white on white. Back in November of 2021, Goldberg had another spicy conversation on The View, though this one flew under the radar. This time, it's a discussion about the Virginia election and how critical race theory was impacting the race. Why is an issue like critical race theory being taught in schools? It's not. <laughs> but people are out of their minds. Wouldn't it just be easier if everybody said, OK, we weren't teaching it and we will continue not to teach it? Yeah. <laughs> well, but they want to teach it. The, nobody wants to teach critical oh. race theory. It's 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 college level conversation. It's actually law school. That's law school. Right, right. Stuff. And that's not a thing. Whoopi's half correct here. It is college level stuff. At least it was when I went to university. When I was younger, Intro to Critical Theory was a first year course. But it's certainly not only law school, it's on offer for anybody. The discipline may have started as critical legal theory, but it's expanded far beyond that. And hey, who knows? Maybe it's wormed its way into high schools by now. I know that at least gender studies has. Why are we even teaching that the color of the skin matters? Because to me, what matters is your character and your values. Yes, but you know, you live in the United States. You know that color of skin has been mattering to people. Can't for, we for change years. it that it well, doesn't? We, we need white people to step up and do that. But I think that we, they've been doing that since the Civil War. And no, I'm not saying no, it's perfect. No, 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 they, they haven't. Their... My God, whoopee. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think the Civil War was blacks versus whites? Do you think no white blood was shed to end slavery in America? This idea that everything is whitey's fault and everything bad is white and everything good is black has got to fucking stop. It's legitimately racist. Wait, what do you mean they have it? They have, listen, when you have a country or a state, let's talk about a state where somebody can be hung from a tree and it's okay. That's not okay. Well, it was okay. It was okay in the South. People did it all the time. Yeah, was. 
Where is it okay now, Whoopi? This is fucking crazy, dude. You're so married to your own trauma, and let's not pretend here that you've experienced any of it since you got rich, that you would rather see the trauma perpetuated instead of actually solving problems. Because solving problems means you can no longer perpetually blame white people for whatever ails you. Race is defined as a category of humankind that shares certain distinctive physical traits. Ethnicity is defined as the fact or state of belonging to a social group that has a common national or cultural tradition. There is an overlap there, sure, but they're not the same thing. Regarding the American experience, white and black skin are so visually distinct, it's easy to conceptualize racial groups at a quick glance. But when Whoopi Goldberg says that the Holocaust is white on white, and it's about ethnicity, not race, she's wrong. It looks that way to her because she's an American intersectionalist, but it's not the fact of the matter. Nazi race science explicitly relied on distinctive physical traits with distinct religious, cultural, linguistic, and territorial similarities of ethnicity taking a back burner. That's why they focus so much on similarities semitic racial traits, like darker skin and hair, or curly hair, or larger noses. Whenever you see pictures of those German doctors measuring the width of somebody's nose, or the size of their skulls, they're not appealing to ethnicity, they're appealing to race. So yes, Whoopi Goldberg is just wrong, but the reason she sticks with such a bizarre view is because of critical theory. I will have to eventually cover that shit show in depth at some point on this channel. But here's the sky-high CRT view. The overarching intersectional view of the world is that the white 1% control institutions and governments in order to uphold a global system of capitalist patriarchal white supremacy, and that even if individual white people don't agree with it or have anything to do with it, they still benefit from it and victimize non-whites as oppressors. Meanwhile, Nazi ideology believed that a small minority of rich Jews, without a nation-state of their own, controlled institutions and governments across Europe to uphold a capitalist system of Jewish supremacy, where even individual innocent Jews benefited and victimized non-Jews. Does this, uh, sound familiar? Oh, also, as Whoopi said earlier, the intersectional view is that Jews are, in fact, white. No wonder she's so flippant about the Holocaust. A lot has been said recently about the prevalence of black-on-Jew crime in America, and about the rise of people like Louis Farrakhan, the anti-Semitic black supremacist. A lot has been said about the anti-Semitism on the broader left, with the UK's Labour Party being full of it, with the socialists routinely noticing that their globalist 1% bourgeoisie has a lot of heavy overlap with the Nazis' internationalist Jewish banker class. Moreover, it's not hard at all to find prominent Jewish leftists who call themselves white when it's time to publicly denigrate themselves as oppressors, and who call themselves Jewish when it's time to present themselves as victims of a hate crime. Of course, all of these people conveniently ignore that black Jews exist. Some of the more extremist elements in Israel even go so far as to say that they're not real Jews. Hell, back in 2011, Whoopi Goldberg herself claimed she was Jewish. That's a twist. Way to throw your own Jewish in-group under the bus for your black in-group, lady. Wait a minute. Actually, she didn't even stand up for her black in-group either. Because damn, she's laughing when a white guy does blackface. And she's standing up for pedophiles too? What the fuck? I guess the TLDR on Whoopi Goldberg is that she's just a fucking moron. But the ideology guiding her, that's what's worth talking about. It brought her to this ridiculous point of saying that everybody is racist except the Nazis. That was just white on white. Would she feel the same way about the Rwandan genocide, since it was one black group killing another black group? Or how about the Japanese in Nanking? That's just Asian on Asian. The ultimate issue with critical race theory framing is that it requires white people to always be the evil oppressor due to institutionalized power. And so blacks can't be racist, they're just punching up. Anybody with their head on straight knows exactly how dumb this sounds. Even they know how dumb it sounds. The ADL is a garbage organization, but for a long time their definition of racism was the belief that a particular race is superior or inferior to another. As the ADL moved away from the liberal ideal and regressed into the tribalism of intersectionality, they changed that definition to the marginalization and or oppression of people of color based on a socially constructed racial hierarchy that privileges white people. And under this view, Whoopi's actually correct. The Nazis weren't racist because their actions oppressed whites, not people of color, and privileged Germans, not all whites. The critical theory view, the intersectional view, has to be pro-Nazi. After the Whoopi Goldberg shit show hit the fan, the ADL changed the page to an interim definition, basically admitting that this was temporary just to get people to shut up. Racism occurs when individuals or institutions show more favorable evaluation or treatment of an individual or group based on race or ethnicity. Expect this definition to vanish after the storm has passed. CRT is legitimately racist. Intersectionality is absolutely bigoted. That doesn't mean that you need these things to be racist or bigoted. The old style white supremacy can still exist, but you have to be a moron to think that nowadays it's actually ascendant. Most people today are just centrist liberal types. They genuinely want people to be judged on the content of their character and not the color of their skin. 
But that completely reasonable desire, that trend towards individualism, is why progressives screech racism every time. And it's why Whoopi Goldberg can get away with minimizing the Holocaust along racial lines. When they cry racist, they're calling you what they are. And they're expecting you to be shamed for your reasonable opinions when their direct actions are infinitely worse.